What is up, everybody? I'm back at the ranch with the Google. Yo, what's up? Fishing with Flair is at the ranch, and we're gonna get some catch and cooks done. Hopefully, we're going after some pigs tonight. Um, hopefully, we get a pig on the ground. It's been like blowing 25 miles an hour for the past day, so I'm sure they're out looking for food after all that wind. But we're gonna try to get something down on the ground. If it's not a pig, we're gonna put something down. And we will eat good. Even if it's a skunk. Skunk? Skunk. Skunk catch cook, baby. You never know. You never know. Right there. That's what we're talking about. I'm down if you clean it. Deal. I want to see your chef, chef skills. What do you think about old Texas Julio's? I'm going to smuggle some back to Nebraska. I don't yeah. know if they have any. But do you guys spend a lot of time in Texas? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take some back. That would be cool. You ready? Yeah, Michelin Man, check. I'm ready. It's going to happen. Should we bring the machete? For what? The machete. Oh. Does that look like a lumberjack? A little bit. Kind of feel like it. Long hair. Yeah. Glad. Anyway, we're going to go try to kill pig. Sort of ghost hunters. We uh, <laughs> every time he puts on night vision, I always think I'm like, dude, I'm ready to go get some stuff done. 308. Oof. Thermal. Let's do it. What I'm ready. Doing? I'm ready to go shoot some hogs. First hog ever. It's going to happen. It. We got this. First hog down. We uh, stocked it for a little bit, laid down, shot it. Kind of just sprayed and prayed, but got it, got the job sprayed done. Sprayed and prayed, I like pray, it. Perfect. I know. It's spray and pray. Perfect eating size pig. He's a little furry sucker too, isn't he? Who tracked him into the woods? <coughs> Polk. That back leg stinks, don't it? Oh God, it does. Shove it up in there. Behind the scenes. Wow. Camera to camera. Vlog meets vlog, baby. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Tasty, son. Zero cutters. You're a cub killer. Yeah. What can I say? With this guy, um, as we said earlier, the that back leg had already been shot or something, so it had like some nastiness going Dude, it, on. I mean, it reeks. Yeah. That's gross. These things are these things are pretty nasty, but you said they taste good. Yeah, this is a perfect size eating pig, but I cut that leg off. I just don't want it to be anywhere near uh, the meat that we're gonna be eating. Aiden <laughs> um, wearing gloves. Yeah, and I don't ever wear gloves, so that tells you how nasty that was. Yeah, that's gross. So you just want to cut up the legs. I'll go ahead and bring him down. Real question is, how do you want to cook this guy tomorrow? I don't know. I was kind of leaving that up to you. Okay. Just because I don't know what I'm doing right now, which is not out of the normal for my videos, but you seem to know what you're doing. So, what are, what are the options? Let's put it that we way. We can grill, fry. Grill, uh, fry. I would say we could smoke, but we're on. We don't have the yeah, time. Frame. Do you, is it mainly just the back straps or do you kind of just no, do... No, back strap, legs, we take everything off a pig. Okay. Just not that gang green leg, you know? Do they have any bacon on this? Uh, no, you're not going to get good bacon off a wild pig. I was looking for some bacon. I don't know. I, I mean, I feel like grill. If you've got a good grill recipe, I feel like the grill... I always fry stuff. Like, that's my go-to. What's well, grill? So I feel like if we grill it, 
it'd be a little bit better for you guys, because I'm always I'm always frying stuff. I want to mix it up a little bit. Yeah, we'll grill this sucker. You ever eaten wild pig? No. So you like is this time wild you... boar? This is different. Yeah. Oh, wild mm -hmm. boar. See, I maybe, but like not really. No, not like wild this. wild pig. I don't. Know. I don't know what wild boar is. I just see like that. There's like a, isn't there a brand? I don't know. Well, I'm pretty sure there's a brand of meat called wild boar, like hams and stuff. I'm sure they're not wild boar. No, I doubt. This will be a first. Let's just say I don't think I've ever eaten this, so I don't really know what to expect to be honest. This is a little boar. A little boar. Get it without getting in there. Yeah, you should be fine. There you go. So now that you've got a skin, first step, we're gonna take the back strap off. Do you think that's the best tasting meat out of the? Uh, I mean, I like the ham and. Well, I think everything on a pig is good. It's all pretty good. Yeah. It's not like one thing that's really good or another. Well, we're going to take the back strap off first and then uh, work on just quartering it out pretty much. Take off some meat and then we'll, uh, we'll, let, Ma we'll let Mullet Man just sit there and do it. Go grill master style. Full blown chef. It tastes amazing. <laughs> I mean, you don't. Fat free dressing. That's important. It's yeah. not barrel season anymore. No. Fat free is important. Yep. It's New Year. New Year, baby. baby. So I'm just going to wash this meat off and clean it up a little bit. We'll take that silver skin off in the morning or tomorrow before we cook it. Alright guys, so taking this pig that Flair shot, clean it up a little bit. We're going we're gonna to marinate it overnight in some lime basil dressing. And then uh, we're gonna grill the back strap and then uh, roast the roast. So I'll see you guys tomorrow when we're cooking it up. So good. Put all that in there. Get the gaminess out of it. That's it. Chunk it in the fridge, let it sit overnight. Let it do its thing. What's up everybody? Next morning. It is a beautiful morning. Beautiful day to be alive. We're gonna cook that pig from last night. We're gonna do a pork butt and we are going to sear it on the grill on both sides first and then, and then we're gonna toss it in the oven. Let her finish off in the oven. Wrap her in foil and uh, and eat good. Ah, right, it's just hot boys. Little back strap action. Is the stash coming oh. back? Oh, the stash? No, not just the stash. We're bringing everything back. It's just slow and steady wins the race right now. So we're bringing something back. Something's coming. Wrap it in full. Throw her in the oven, 400 degrees. We'll check on her in about an hour. Eat good. Appetizer or what? Let's see if she's she's done. Oh, money. Just regular back strap with the marinade that we did overnight. Let me see it. So this is our. You okay? Goodness! That one snuck up on me. Cedar getting to you? Yeah, proceed to proceed to shoot the gun. No worries. Cool. You so this the is tag? the stagecoach gun that we got, double barrel, 12 gauge, and uh, Garland's gonna show us how to pull both triggers at the same time. I'm gonna I'm gonna attempt to aim for the eagle that's soaring up there. Just shoot at the trees. So now it's on safety. Oh my god, I was like a straight up cannon. <laughs> that is awesome. Yeah. Dude, we need to take that duck hunting. Just, yeah. Just two shots them, at each duck, just bah! Just lay them out. So where did you aim? Just, just, just shoot at those yeah. trees right there. Shoot at those base trees. Of, yeah, the base of the trees. Okay. Oh, fire in the hole. Oh, it wasn't that bad. I was, I was a little nervous. That wasn't yeah, that bad. I was too. I love the smell of gunpowder in the morning. It's because you only shoot, shot one side. 
Did I? Yeah, you only shot me. Oh, wait, what? Oh. Oh. I didn't pull both of oh. Well, let's give me another one then. <laughs> That's why I didn't kick the bat. I was like, that wasn't that bad. <laughs> I pulled both. All right, take two. So there's two triggers? Yeah. So when he said pull both, you yeah. gotta like you, you, you have to pull one, two. both. No. No. Yeah, at I, the same time. Yeah, I did. Just hard. Just a lot harder. Yeah. Just. What? So you just you gotta squeeze. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right. Fire in the hole. That one hurt a lot more. <laughs> wow. That one hurt. Cheese and rice. Oh. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> that one hurt. <laughs> what do you mean kicks a little bit less or more than a three and a half? Time to pull her off the oven. See what she looks like. <laughs> Do what she looks like. Let's see it. Ooh. Steamy. Oh. oh my gosh, that looks amazing. Yummy in my summer. Giving it a send or what? I think so. That looks tasty. Mm hmm. Just give it a back stretch. That hot. Dude, that is just juicy. Yeah, cut that, su cut that sucker in half. Let it cool down. All right. Ooh, that smells really good. Dude, I'd be out here just killing these suckers like oh. every weekend and just not have to go grocery shopping. Like, it smells really good. All right, ready? Pony apple feet. Tender. Dude, that's so juicy. Oh my gosh. I would just be eating this all the time. Like pork? Yeah. It's, like good. It. yeah. it's not bad. Tastes pretty good. Yeah, I feel like good. we could. I feel like we could get creative with the cooking. I, I feel. Yeah. Like we got. I feel like we got to do it again and try to like like smoke. It looks really good. Super. Yeah. Good. I think that would be the idea. The joys of West Coma, Texas. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Like getting dogs. You know. You like getting ducks? Well, yeah. Blair, it's my truck. Appreciate it, dude. It was a good time. We'll do yep. it again. We'll need to go kill more hogs and cook them different, yep. different ways. Get up there and ice fish soon. Yes, you need to come up and ice fish, 100%. I'm down. John, what nice man? to meet you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe. Hit the thumbs up. And remember, eat good.